Michelle. Sawyer McLernan. I'm Gemma Baker. And this is Heavy Metals. And today we will also be informing you about heavy metals in our watershed. Uh, we're going to be talking about unbonded versus bonded metals, how they get in our water, uh, toxic versus untoxic, impacts in the Roaring Fork, and ways to help within our community. Heavy metals are metals that are five times denser than water, and it also includes some metalloids. They have effects on living beings that can depend on such things as the root of exposure, the dosage, the chemical species, the age, gender, and health of the being. And heavy metals can also have major impacts on our ecosystems. Bonded versus unbonded. So bonded versus unbonded. When a metal is bonded, it is connected in some form to another particle, or it can... So it could be a plant, soil particle, or other chemical element within the water. And bonded metals are atoms, so they do not easily partake in chemical reactions. And unbonded is when the metals are not attached to anything and sometimes can be dissolved within the water. And these metals are ions, so they do not react with other chemical elements. All right, so crude oils are natural oils that are pulled out of the earth and used for basic mechanics and simple, like, like transportation and such. And these uh, crude oils, such as antifreeze, which comes off of cars and planes and when they leak, it can run off into the rivers. And metals are actually in these crude oils, such as copper, iron, magnesium, lead, zinc, cadmium, sodium, magnesium, and many more. Agriculture is one way that, um, that the metals can contaminate the runoff. The soil that they use to farm has high levels of heavy metals such as lead, chromium, arsenic, cadmium, copper, and nickel. And when it rains, the metals are transported to the water through the soil. And these metals can affect the animal and plant life in that river. So our atmospheric deposition is when heavy metals are evaporated from factories and other heavy metal sources. Later, the metals are carried up into the clouds and then rained down directly into our water sources. So whenever the so whenever the smokestacks, they allow heavy metals to be evaporated and then it gives them a direct source to, right into our water sources. So mining was a huge part of Aspen's economic uh, growth, but it ended up in resulting with many metals transferring into our Roaring Fork River. Although the mining was only in the 1800s, some metals still transfer from runoff down into our river. Sediment resuspension can make the break the sediment bonds that the toxic metals partake in, and so the metals become dissolved and are ions, so they will partake in chemical reactions. And it makes it extremely challenging to remove these metals from the water. And this enables these metals to enter the food chain and the human systems. So River Watch tests for 17 metals within the water, and we'll be showing you five toxic metals as examples. So arsenic is the first one. It is vital for plant growth, but can cause many problems in humans and other types of life. It also is sometimes used in medicine. Arsenic, depending on the dosage, can cause major like issues within the human body. The next one's cadmium, which is often found in batteries and paints, which comes off of buildings and runs off into the river. It is toxic to liver, kidneys, and whatnot, and it also causes stomach problems. Um, lead is one of the most dangerous metals and it can um, end up in our rivers and likely promote brain damage and major damage to the nervous system. In high doses, it can even cause death, but it's very uncommon to end up in rivers, and it's mainly found in house, old house pipes, so if you have lead in your water, that's mainly where it comes from and not the river. So chromium is another one of the toxic metals that has serious, serious effects on the body and can affect your stomach and liver as well. So mercury is a liquid metal that is that easily runs through the river. If mercury is consumed, it can end up with a person's mental health and damage organs such as liver and kidney, along with skin and eye damage. Um, essential, 
Essential heavy metals exert biochemical and physiological functions in plants and animals, and they're important constituents of several key enzymes and play important roles in various oxidation reduction re um, reactions. And toxic metal ions have been found to damage um, cell components such as DNA and nuclear proteins, causing DNA damage and conformational changes that lead to cell modulation. Um, a couple of essential metals are cobalt, copper, chromium, iron, magnesium, magnesium, molybdenum, nickel, selenium, and zinc. And these metals are necessary, but certain quantities can be toxic. So to help prevent metals from reaching our river, you can try to not throw away products such as broken batteries that contain chromium and broken thermometers that contain mercury. And there are other products such as Lipstick, whitening, toothpaste, eyeliner, and nail color that contain some heavy metals. And another way to prevent heavy metals from reaching our rivers is to limit the amount of gasoline and stormwater runoff from different types of transportation. Questions? So, certain things like, like lipsticks and eyeliners, you're not going to take us to a charm center. So there's many ways that you can, like, when you've heard, like, don't throw away broken batteries or thermometers, I would try to prevent, like, if it has some happened like that, it's a very difficult situation, but I would try to use the entire product and before throwing it away, but if the worst, worst come to worst, I would dispose of it like you would any other type of battery or thermometer. So it would go to a center for hard, hard, what do you call it, a center for hard to recycle materials, like a charm center? Yes, but these products also don't contain a, like, a lot of heavy metals. They will only contain a little bit. So if there is an accident where it does, something happens like that, it, it be, will begin to build on itself and will eventually. But if it does, some, if there is an incident like that, you can throw it away because it doesn't have too much heavy metals in it. 